Hello, lovely people. <clears throat> I don't know if you can hear me. Um, hang on, I've got some technical problems here, as you might imagine. Um, hang on. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear me. I ho hope so, because uh, I'm I'm just um, doing this on my phone. <laughs> you know, the the challenges continue, as in uh, the the internet's not working now, not today anyway. And um, I just checked with Virgin and. Um, yeah, and, and it's uh, it's just it's just off in the area, so not much I can do about it. So hello, I'm, I'm seeing a few waves, <laughs> or I'm seeing a couple of people uh, watching. So ni nice to see you all. And um, yeah, other other problem is the uh, computer I got isn't isn't uh, up to it yet. I've, I've got a bit more work to do, um, but I, I couldn't not jump jump online. I could not Lee. I could not just. You know, just because it's not working, I couldn't not be here because um, I've got to say thank you. I've got to say thank you so much to everyone. Um, good morning, Jill. Nice to see you. And um, yeah, it's been it's been an interesting week. And um, yeah, I'm not I'm not going to go into the the trauma of the thing. Um, but because the, the thing that I've, I've come away with over this experience of, um, oh, if, you, if, you, if you don't know, I, I was robbed at the, at the weekend. No, was it, no, it was before the weekend. I was robbed and um, lost all my online gear and that sort of thing. And uh, I was devastated. It, was, it felt like it was sort of the end of everything because, um, uh, yes, it was sort of... Uh, well, it's, 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 my, it's, it's my mission, really. It feels like uh, my mission is to get this stuff out into the world, and online was the, was the um, way to do it. And, um, yeah, so I was, I was really quite devastated, and I, I thought that was that. And then uh, my friend Tuesday McNeil uh, offered to put up a Just Giving page, and, oh, my God, I've, I've, uh, <laughs> I've never felt so appreciated. So thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Sorry, I'm being a bit of a, <laughs> a bit emotional here, but um, yes. So anyway, I had to get, I had to go online, and uh, my usual time. I, I was all set to go with normal equipment, but um, the internet's not working and the computer's not working. But you know what? Here I am. Uh, and I know there was a oh, morning, morning, Barbara. Um, yeah, I know. I know there was a request around uh, twists. And um, maybe I could do that here because I can I can be close to the camera because that's the that's the thing so I haven't got sound, so I have to be close to the to close to my phone for you to hear me. So I'm hoping this is working. And yeah, so um, uh, yes, I don't remember exactly what the question was. It was from the wonderful Barbara. <laughs> um, she always comes up with good questions. Um, yeah, twists. Okay. Yeah, I've got nothing prepared. I, I, I just sort of uh, setting things up and then um, and it wasn't working. So, uh, yeah, let, let's just begin. Now, um, we could do sitting twists. I know, I know um, cross-legged is difficult for many people. Uh, so you don't need to sit cross-legged. You can sit on a chair. You can, you can sit any... Oh, my God, I'm, I'm feeling so, so, so uh, happy still. I've got, I've got to speak more, sorry. Um, something about this experience has really blown me away. Um, I think I've, I, I think, um, I've uh, always been quite an isolated man. And um, I think my, my entry, my way of, com of coming into the world has been through yoga. Because it was an it was a way I could come I could feel of use I could um, I could help in some way and in most other aspects of life uh, especially on the sort of social level uh, that sort of thing Norm normal interaction kind of level I've never been that good at but um, yeah when I when I came to the yoga it was it was clearly my thing I did it as a child and when I came back to it it's like coming home you see and um, yeah, what am I saying? 
Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. No, I've I've spent my most of my life feeling really quite sort of isolated, and um, uh, and uh, I guess I was. I, I don't know. I was putting it out there into the world and on, on these um, on these lives and giving the best of my twenty years of experience um, to try and help people extricate themselves from pain and other things. The, the same journey I, I went on, and um, and what this has experience has done for me, it has. I, I feel connected. I feel more connected than I've ever felt before. I feel like, um, you know, uh, there were times, I suppose, when, when I was doing my online stuff and and I wasn't sure of if anyone was actually, you know, using the thing. But all the, you know, all the comments I've received on that, uh, I've seen all the comments on the Just Giving page and um, uh, I've, I've been getting through to people all over the world, apparently, and um, making a little bit of a difference. So you know, and 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 the 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 love and gratitude and the um, you know the support that has gushed forwards over a few days. So I've got uh, already on that just giving page. I'm halfway there to replacing everything, which is really quite incredible. It's really quite incredible. And uh, you know, if if I don't get another penny, I could I I can at least uh, carry on with what I'm doing in some fashion. You know. So oh my god heartfelt thanks to everyone out there so um yeah anyway um hi sandra nice to see you uh, i don't know if you've uh, been following my posts there's been a bit of a drama um but anyway here i am and yes i was going to look at sitting twists so just a uh, big heartfelt thanks to all of you that have um, supported me and encouraged me to keep going and i most certainly will oh yes a, a little a little aside um, I just thought anyone that has donated to my um, Just Giving page to help me bring these um, Yoga Solutions live uh, back to the back and uh, keep them going. Uh, I want to give you, if you sign up to the website, uh, the aquaviva.yoga website, um, let, drop me a line, sign up, uh, it's free, you can get free membership, sign up, drop me a line. And, and tell me that you donated and I will give you lifetime free silver membership and and what what that does is uh, that all, all the all the best recordings of my uh, weekly classes get put up there and you you'll get a um, yeah get a weekly class you, that you can access and uh, you know they don't, they don't they won't stay on Facebook forever um, but they will stay on their website forever so yeah anyone that Anyone that's donated, thank you so much again. And I would love to just uh, sign up for the website. I'll give you free silver membership forever. Okay. So thank you. That's, that, that's my tiny little um, gift pack. So thank you very much. Okay. So enough, enough emotional stuff. Uh, let, let's get on with it. Um, I'll get the top off. It's, um, it's quite warm in here. Right. Uh, yes. Thank you, Jill. Thank you. It's very kind of you to say. Okay. Sitting twists. I, I um, don't know if you can what you can see. You don't really need to see much. I'm going to put myself at a little angle to you. Now, uh, see if I can pull myself together to actually share something. So, um, sitting twists. The thing. Uh, how do I go about these things? It, it's usually about looking for what the complication is. Because when, when someone asks what um, asks me a question, a yoga solutions question, um, it's because there's a feeling of some complication. What is that complication in seated twists? And uh, especially if you're cross-legged. Um, Actually, it's not especially that. It depends on what your, uh, you know, how, how your body works and, and how your hips are and things. But um, whatever, the, the, the problem with twisting is that twist is coming from the wrong place. Most people will pull around with their head and then keep going. Or they'll pull around from their base and keep going. 
and the result will be tension at this end of things and all around the neck and into the upper back or tension around the groins and hips and um, and all around the lower back um, so what's the solution well now uh, one thing I play with if, if you kind of understand the mechanics of the spine um, you'll understand that a twist is a sort of a variation on a side bend as in um, you can uh, evol or in evolutionary um, terms or in developmental terms um, twists arrive through side bending so uh, you know if you're if you're crawling um, there'll be a, a sort of a, a side bending movement that involves some rotation at some point yeah and um, so it's, it's quite a good way into twists because what we can do, uh, generally speaking, that thing I was talking about, when, when you twist from either end, you, you shorten on the side you're turning to and pull yourself round. Then you let go and you spring back. Um, if instead you create a bit of space on the side you're going to turn to. So I'm going to turn to my right. And before I do so, I'm going to make space in those two areas that generally um, close up. So between my, uh, I'm turning to the right, so between my right thigh and my right ribs, I'm trying to make some space on the inside. And uh, it, I do get involved on the inside. I, I draw space up uh, with the uh, rib cage, with the, and so you get a sort of suction thing with the diaphragm. It's the sort of thing you do if you're um, getting into cold water or hot water. Uh, you, you sort of instinctively draw your organs away from the contact. So uh, come up on that right hand side to make space in the waist in the waist particularly between the between the leg and the top of the diaphragm and there's a there's a sort of a widening feeling that can well the, the down feeling through your base can help this stuff come up the widening feeling into space can also help this stuff come up and um, and by having my hand on my head I can also let go of holding my head up with neck muscles and allow my head to have a bit of space away from, not the shoulder, away from the lung on that side. The shoulder is, uh, needs to be part of the wing and part of what is creating, engaging the space. So by creating this sort of side bend feeling of moving away from the right hand side and uh, so the space between my head and my lungs, the space between my pelvis and my lungs, and I breathe into my lungs as I'm sort of side bending away from, but beginning to turn towards. And I can, and you can use it's always useful to use your touch to support yourself in what you're doing. So I breathe into the the lungs, even though I'm making space away from my base, I'm making space uh, down from my head. I breathe into my lungs and as I release the breath, it's the lungs that empty and it's the ribs that follow that empty. So those ribs can then sort of quite naturally with the release of the breath, anchor down. So what you're left with is a movement that has been sourced in the middle. So instead of putting myself around from either end, um, the middle of me, the, the ribs essentially, which is the thoracic spine, uh, they, they, the uh, thoracic means rib cage. Um, the ribs, with the release of the breath, have kind of quite naturally anchored towards the base and supported me up in space. Uh, so there's a movement from the from the center. Now, for most of us, most of us sedentary livers. Um, you know, if you have a sedentary lifestyle, this will be an unfamiliar breath because it's the very area that fills when we breathe and that we and, and then we sort of collapse at both ends to release the breath. But that effort, the feeling of engagement around the middle might feel like it's interfering with the breath. But what we've got, because we haven't turned from um, from the base, because we haven't pulled around the top end, um, the result is we have space to breathe above and below instead. So what, what tends to happen is 
The, the breath itself is this expression of the twist wide across the heart into the space inside of you, wide across your base um, in the other direction. And then the release of the breath again is this dissolving sort of centering quality towards the middle. And so breath by breath, the rotation can develop, which is why we end up just sort of sitting and releasing breath by breath from the spine itself. And as I said, the, the, the rotation is happening from the thoracic spine. So with the release of the breath, there's a sort of a movement towards the center of the thoracic spine. That's the sort of center of the rotation, if you like. And the outcome is an opening of the heart. And the breath accommodates it. Let's do the other side. <sighs> so, um, for those of you that have just joined, um, the general idea is instead of pulling ourselves around into a seated twist using the, the usual hip muscles, neck muscles, tension, uh, even shoulders. I, I don't want you to pull yourself around with your shoulders. What we're looking for is a so the development, development of space between things. So you can put, uh, if we're turning to the left, you put your right arm on your left thigh somewhere and support space away from that, um, the, uh, between the pelvis and the, and the diaphragm. And um, there's a sort of feeling of being with space on that side. And then for the top end of things, instead of pulling round with tension, it short, shortens you and makes ease tension. You can support um, you can support the weight of the head with your wrist. It's, it's hard work, but then from that support, you can widen the space. So, and again, we're breathing into the space that we're creating over there. But what happens is the the breath comes into the lungs as a result, as opposed to filling the belly, filling the I don't know as opposed to having to lift to breathe. There's a feeling of widening across the heart as you breathe. And if you can sustain that relationship to space uh, as the, you know, that wide feeling, as the breath releases, then what we get is the, the release of pressure in the ribs and uh, the lung. As the lungs empty, the ribs will drop with. And that dropping of the ribs is the thing that pulls you around into a twist. So we end up in a situation where, because we haven't pulled around from either end, the breath is available at either end. The breath is available wide across your base. And with its release, the ribs empty, the core gathers as a result of landing on your base. The breath is available across the heart and into the space above, above the heart. And as you release the breath, the ribs drop underneath the heart to anchor you into your base into this rotation. So breath by breath, we can sort of release into rotation. Both aspects of breathing um, develop these relationships that move you from your heart. Quite nice to experience that if you're not pulling yourself around. If you're pulling yourself around your, with your hips, uh, uh, letting go of support or feel terrible. But um, if you can leave that space in the lower half of the base, in fact, if you can allow that to, to, to feel like it's breathing, and then the release of the breath is in the rib cage, back to your base without closing the space up. You don't need to, because it's, a, a, it's sort of a diagonal relationship. Um, upper and lower bodies relate to each other diagonally crisscross sort of fashion. So breath by breath. We get to turn from the heart. And there's no strain for the neck, there's no strain for the hips, there's you no know, it's hard work in the middle, but it's um it's only hard work because we're not used to breathing there, you see. So uh yeah many thing on twists it's, it's pretty much all I can do on um, on my phone, um, whilst I try and work out the technology of the thing. Um, 
I hope that was useful. Um, all being well, I shall be uh, running a brand new online course. Um, and, you know, this, this seems to be the way I'm going. It's uh, online. It seems, it seems to um, be getting out there to people. And, um, yeah. So, uh, all being well, I, I shall do an open workshop, I think, online on... Um, just before Christmas, 13th, uh, 19th of December, Thursday, 6.30 p.m. UK time. And um, this will be the uh, an introductory workshop to the next sensory intelligence series. Um, the haptic intelligence series is, was fantastic. And, and it still is. Uh, people are, are still sort of um, uh, buying it and, and and what you get you get to book um one to ones with me as part part of your you know, um, you know free and it comes free with the course so i want to uh, you know support people in what they're doing um it, there's nothing quite like one to one interaction um to get a deeper experience of what's going on so um that that's gone really well and um yeah and it's 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 sort of uh, doing these online courses on sensory intelligence is kind of cleared up um, uh, what it is that I'm trying to share with the world, um, and it's it's uh, it's around trusting. It's around trusting your own direct sensory impressions rather than being in um, sort of reactive relationship to the world. We we can we can turn to the innate intelligence of the body directly because we have this amazing sensory system, this sensory feedback system that's developed over millions and millions of years, much far longer than the more recent edition of the intellect. You know? But the intellect is there and can be witness to the, the, this amazing function, this feedback system that we have. And uh, yeah, so it's... it's um, yeah, so I think I've, t I've tapped into something that I think is much needed in body work. Rather than the mind trying to control a body through some sort of idea of uh, intellect has a better idea of how things work, um, intellect can learn. The, the personality can learn an awful lot about the nature of reality by being with the body directly and, uh, and immersing it in its intelligence. And that's what I'm trying to bring to the world. And uh, my sensory intelligence online series are kind of for that purpose so yes there'll be an open workshop um december the 19th 6 30 p.m uh, I'll, I'll make it nice and cheap for people and then the course itself will be a six-parter six or seven-parter i'm not sure depends how the intro goes and uh, you need to have done the intro in order to join but um yes uh, that'll be starting in january all being well and um, uh, with every, the way everyone's been rallying around making this happen for me, has, uh, uh, it's been amazing. So uh, I, I, I hold high hopes, and I think it's it's going <clears> to <throat> it's all it's going to work out. So thank you, everyone. And in the meantime, I I shall say same time. I'm Mark J. Aquaviva of the Aquaviva School of Yoga, signing off until the same time, same place next week. Lots of love to you all. Bye now.